The site may be California, but this year's Los Angeles Auto Show is all about proving one thing. Detroit Motor City is back with a vengeance. It's all about styling, horsepower, American cars, and green tech. That's a seat way in the back. It's luxurious. It's new crossovers, what America wants to drive and ride, and it's not electric. Trust me. So get in, sit down, buckle up, hold on. Here's when the geekdom that is our love for the American automobile hits the road. Welcome back. The expert who knows more about cars than Henry Ford could have ever dreamed about. I came up with that. She did not. Motorsports enthusiast, racer mom, and someone who will tell you that if you buy retail, <laughs> get your head gaskets changed. From the floor of the L.A. Auto Show, Lauren Fix is here. <laughs> Lauren, go for it. I know you're standing in front of the Jaguar people, so we got to talk about the cars that everybody wants. We want Jags. We'll get to Detroit in a minute. What do they got cooking? Okay, first off, this is the Land Rover Evoque convertible. And now you're thinking, well, where are they going to sell this thing? You will be surprised. This is going to go in California. It's going to be a worldwide car. This is about $51,000. There is actually room for four people, so adults can sit in the back seat. It's got a huge 10.2-inch screen, beautifully appointed leather, aluminum. I mean, hey, it's Land Rover. It's going to be a real off-road vehicle that really can meet a lot of lifestyle. And this car is absolutely spectacular. But let's look at it again about what America really wants when it comes down to auto shows. Now, that Land Rover, first of all, doesn't look like anything like the old Land Rovers that we used to see years ago. Americans still want flash. They want horsepower. They want great-looking cars, and that's what L.A. is all about. So what do we really have that, okay, you and I both know you go to an auto show, certain cars everybody is going to be attracted to. What is it this time around? Well, what, there's a couple of them. One of the ones that also intrigued me a lot was the 2017 Jaguar F-Pace. Now, they're building an SUV that's going to go head-to-head -head with Porsche and the Cayenne. It's going to come in a performance model that's going to be a, in a 3-liter diesel as well as a 2-liter turbo. So turbos and diesel are still popular no matter what anyone says. People want performance. They want fuel economy. They want longer distances between Phillips, and they want technology. They want big screens. And Jaguar is providing all that for $34,900, and I think that's pretty cool. I can't wait to drive it. Uh, also, Alfa Romeo, in just a few minutes, they're going to be launching the brand-new Giulia Quattrofolio. It's spectacular. We saw it in Milan. You got the first sneak peek here at Newsmax before anybody else in the world. And this vehicle is going to be a BMW M3 fighter, and it's going to come in about $70,000. This is big for Alpha, because either it's a make it or break it for the brand. They're also launching the 124 convertible, so this is something Alpha really has to come on strong, and I think they've done it. Now, you've talked a lot about some of the foreign cars here, but let me break back to Detroit, and Detroit saying that they are back this time. Lincoln's <laughs> okay. got a brand new MKZB. I mean, there's all kinds of things, but Detroit is back pushing again, aren't they? They're no longer taking a back seat. No, absolutely not. The new Lincoln MKZ is really a nice vehicle. They redid the whole outside and the inside. They made it more stylized. It has more of a European flair to it. And, of course, it has all the technology that we want besides the lane change departure and the emergency braking intervention. And, of course, you know, 20 speaker audio systems. Everybody wants to have great audio, great technology, and a lot of safety, but they want it all in style. And so Ford is not just doing that in the Lincoln lineup. They're even doing it on their Ford Escape. GM's got the new Denali coming out. So uh, GM is really coming on strong even on the Cadillac line. So I think what you're seeing is American brands trying to catch up for where they were slightly behind and they're starting to do that by having some really great designers on board. I got about 30, 40 seconds left. I'm going to go back to that Land Rover right behind you there because I'm actually flabbergasted by it because Land Rovers you always think of as a boxy vehicle, but they've really changed right now. We're talking about styling that people oh, no. want, correct? Right, and the Evoke is selling like crazy. You know, I have test driven the Evoke in two door and four door models. We drove it off road. It is an absolute true Land Rover through and through. So it is a mountain goat. You can take it anywhere. But it has the styling now. They've redesigned it. And we had the Discovery Sport on. We took it to Iceland. And you can see that the sales for Land Rover and Jaguar have just zoomed because their product style, design, technology, it's what people want. I mean, you know, we're tired of old, boring, boxy cars. We want cool yeah. cars like this Evo convertible. Yeah, yeah, I'm with you right now. Tired of the boxy vehicles. Let's get yeah. some flair. You want to get some flair and learn about it, go to LaurenFix.com. Lauren Absolutely. is at the Los Angeles Auto Show, and that's where she'll talk about this and a whole lot more. Enough with this electric already. We're still a gas society. Lauren Fix, always a pleasure. Thanks so much for joining us. Have a great time in Los Angeles. We'll talk with you soon, and we'll be right back when we continue with the fastest 60 minutes of news, The Hardline.